Hi there, welcome again to my channel English Bites. Today we are going to proceed the lesson 2 of our lesson in English 10, quarter 1, module 1, entitled Recognizing Information from Contextualized Speech. This is based on SLM or Self Learning Module. By the way, ang lesson ito ay para pa rin sa week 1 of uh, quarter 1. And uh, this is under Module 1, Lesson 2. <clears throat> this is the continuation of my first video na for, that is uh, for Lesson 1. Now this time it is for Lesson 2, Recognizing Information from Contextualized Speech based on SLM. Now, uh, while viewing, you should prepare your module with you and also a piece of paper and ball pen so para Masagutan na ninyo yung mga activity sheets sa module ng English 10. Okay. And by the way, if you have not yet subscribed in this channel, please uh, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share also. Now, lesson 2, recognizing information from contextualized speech. Now, this time, you will be learning new ways to use information from speeches as you go along this long journey. And uh, these are what you are expected to do. First, you are going to use information from speeches that can be used in everyday life. Gagawa kayo ng mga speech dito. And then promote the interest and sense of responsibility in validating the quality of information needed in academic and personal use by identifying the types of speech according to purpose. And the last one, Develop the abilities to, uh, to organize information and construct it into text. Now, what is in? In the previous lesson, you have learned the following how to write news report using proper order of writing news report and getting and using information from news report. Now, this will help you in recognizing relevant information from use reports that could help you in everyday lives. Now, what's new? We have different strengths and weaknesses. Meron tayong kanya-kanyang mga kakayahan, kalakasan, at kahinaan. And sometimes, these weaknesses can make us feel worthless. Kung minsan, itong mga kahinaan natin, ang siyang nagpapa... Uh, ang pakiramdam natin ay parang wala tayong ano, halaga. But rediscovering and recreating yourself can transform you into an extraordinary, extraordinary individual. Kapag natuklasan mo yung mga kakayahan mo, ay uh, ma, ikaw ay matatransform na sa isang bagong uh, nilalang na may kakayahan. Okay. Uh, the speech you are about to read will help you reflect your self-worth. Now, I'd like you to uh, listen carefully how I read this uh, speech the way I move, the way I vary my voice up and down. Okay. Do you know who you are? When you look at yourself in the mirror, what do you see? The best version of yourself? A fucking, a blank picture of yourself? Or you have got amnesia? Or where you can no longer feel your inner self? That's the worst feeling one could ever have and comparable to dark night. What you see in the mirror is exactly what you see, what you get, and what you are. Again, the question is who you are. This poses you to rediscover who you truly are and how to reveal, redefine, and reactivate yourself again. To turn your original condition, I mean, to turn to your original condition every time you broke your inner senses, every time you struck by your fears, every time you lost courage and hope, and every time you failed, blindfolded with all the shams and drudgeries in life, we are curtailed to bring out the best in us. The challenges is there all the time. Put your blindfolded off, for this is just test of life. Remembering and believing who we are, it's just the start of living life to the fullest again. This is the first step. Next is to live the truth. 
You are created for a purpose thus loved by God. With this, you will experience healing inside, and that you are, your completeness through Him will then radiate love and joy to others too. No philosophers, even the best ones, can give us the best ways to overcome your personal challenges. It is just our relationship with God. The best system is prayer. When you pray, you talk to God, and your journey with Him will take place. It is our post from time to time that we will be refreshed of something new, something better, a fresh start, a clean state, and a new journey to begin again. We can choose differently. Remember, what matters most is not how others you see, but how you truly see yourself. Who are you when you are all alone? When no one and when no one is watching, how do you see yourself determines how you allow people to treat you. How you see yourself dictates that what you expect from others, from life, from God. Choose today to be the greatest version of yourself. Do not forget to wear the best makeup. Smile and the world will smile with you. This was uh, written by Eden Grace C. Yonko, Overcoming Personal Challenges 2020. Now for activity 2.1. After reading the speech, answer the following questions. Number one, what type of speech was used by the author? Why you say so? Okay. For number one, be ready with your ballpen and your notes. Answer for number one. The author uses the persuasive type of speech. She convinces the people to have a deeper sense of knowing their inner self and overcome the weaknesses and use it as their strength. That is the answer for number one. And how about number two? What is its purpose? Ano ba ang purpose ng speech na to? Now, the purpose of this speech is to convince para papaniwalain ang mga listeners or to persuade. Number three, how does this information lead you to your conclusion? Alright, you may write down, this information led me to think that the speaker is convincing me to change my ways by letting me discover and accept my true self. You may write it this way, this information leads me to think that the speaker yung nagsasalita ay pinapaniwala ako is convincing me para baguhin at madiskubri ang aking sarili at tanggapin ang tunay kong pagkatao. Alright. Convincing me to change my ways by letting me discover and accept my true self. Okay, let us now proceed to activity 2.2. Based on the speech, answer the following questions. Write the letter of the correct answer on the worksheet provided. And now you are going to use separate sheet of paper for this. As much as possible, do not write anything on your module. Para magamit pa sa susunod na taon. Okay. Number one, to overcome personal challenges... Shows blank, optimism, courage, vigor, or both A and B. Now, the answer here is optimism and courage. So, it is both A and B, letter D. Number two, the last two lines of the speech express, okay, Look at these options here. Itong tatlo ay puro negative attributes. Uh, arrogance, optimism, uh, I mean, arrogance warning. The only possible answer here is letter A, encouragement. So, encouragement should be the correct answer, letter A. Number three, one can generalize about the speech is to blank. Okay, the answer here is Overcome personal challenges and also bring out the best in you. So, 
the answer is letter D, both A and B. Now for number four, an effective persuasive technique used by the speaker to emphasize her point is through appealing to, okay, the answer here is emotion and moral. So it is D, both A and B, so it is letter D. Number five, the tone of the speech is more of, okay, number five, it is inspiring. Itong tatlo, puro siya, puro itong mga negative attributes, criticizing, defending, denying, puro siya negative. The only positive one here is inspiring, so inspiring is the correct answer, letter A. Now, what is it? There are the four basic different types of speech according to purpose. Number one is informative. Pag sinabi natin informative, it provides interesting and useful information to audience. Nagbibigay ng uh, mahalagang informasyon para sa mga nanonood o bumabasa. Example, Municipal Health Office telling the community on precautionary measures to avoid the spreading of virus. Ito ay nagbibigay ng mga informasyon para maiwasan na pagkalat ng virus. Alright, so it is informative. Number two, demonstrative. Pag sinabi natin demo, demonstrative, nagdi-demonstrate. It teaches you something that includes a demonstration of how to do things. Ito ay uh, nagdi-demonstrate, nagpapahayag kung paano gawin ang isang bagay. How to do, example, how to do proper hand washing. Okay. Number three is uh, entertainment. Uh, by the way, this is number one, two, three, and four. This is only typographical error. Number three is entertainment. It provides pleasure and enjoyment that makes the audience laugh. Just like this example, telling about a hilarious movie. Or yung mga funny videos sa YouTube. That is also an example of entertainment. But we are here after types of speech. So yung mga speech na nakakapagpatawa, that is under entertainment. Next one is, is persuasive. To convince people or change in some way to start doing something. Pag sinating persuasive, ito ay pinapaniwala ang mga tao. Kinokonvinsi. Uh, pag sinabing convince, magkonvinsi o magpapaniwala. Example, convince to become an environmentalist. Konvinsihin na maging isang environmentalist. Okay, what's more? Activity 2.3, we have here the 11 simple ways to care for each other during the COVID-19 coronavirus pandemic. Now, arrange the following information to write an informative speech. Use an answer sheet provided for you. Now, the instruction is you are going to make a speech out of these items. Ito mga 11 items na ito ay ipagsasama-sama ninyo para makagawa kayo ng speech. <clears throat> Alright. Now, dito, iba-iba ang magiging uh, sagot ninyo. Pero, ang hint dito ay itong mga items na ito ay pwede ninyong gamitin sa inyong mga sentence. And then, Itong mga idea rito ay pwede ninyong pagdugtong-dugtongin para makagawa kayo ng isang informative speech. Alright. Ang pinapagawa dito ay isang uh, yes, informative speech. Okay. So, remember, you can use the sentences. You can add some more. And uh, try to your try to be truthful in your speech. Okay. Now, let us proceed to the next one. What I have learned. Activity 2.4. Identify the following examples according to text types. Write I for informative P for persuasive, 
E for entertainment and D for demonstrative. Write the answer in the worksheet provided for you. By the way, I'd like to give you an example for this one first. <clears throat> okay, the title here is Greenpeace Philippines March 27. Uh, I mean, the title here is Ways to Care for Each Other During the Pandemic 19 Coronavirus Pandemic. Now, say for example, there are different ways how to care for each other during the COVID-19 coronavirus pandemic. First, you need to volunteer your time. Yan, ayun, nasabi ko ng answer. Ang sabi ko, there are different ways on how to take care of each other during the COVID-19 coronavirus pandemic. First, you need to volunteer your time. And also, in order for your uh, for your elderly parents or relatives, you shall you should check in on elderly neighbors. Ayan, you should uh, see to it that your neighbors are uh, are not affected with uh, this uh, coronavirus pandemic. So you should always check in on elderly neighbors. So that's the sentence is, you should always check in. Dagdagan lang linyo ito, ng you should always check in on elderly neighbors. And then, pwede kayong mag-singit ito ng iba. Hindi naman pwede, Hindi naman uh, uh, sinasabi na ipagsunod-sunod ninyo. Pwede kayong kumuha rito sa iba. Say for example, If you have still time, you should reach out to people in self-isolation. Yon, Tugtungan lang ninyo ito rito. If you have time, from time to time, you should reach out to people in self-isolation. O yun ang sabi ko ha. Isulat nyo, idagdag nyo rito sa unahan. Ito number seven. If you have time, from time to time, you should reach out to people in self-isolation. Yan. And then, you should also try, ito dito naman, you should also try to share positive news and act kindness with your community. Dito. If you want to if you want to help your community, you should share positive news. Oh, dagdagan nyo rito. If you want to help your community, you should share positive news and act kindness with your community. And don't forget also, this is very important. Nandito ah, dugtong nyo rito. And don't forget also, and this is very important, to make, ayan, dugtong nyo na rito, to make social distancing fun with video chat. Ayan. And another one, based also from our uh, protocol, you should stop hoarding alcohol and hand sanitizers. Ayan. You should stop hoarding alcohol and sanitizers. Alright. Ilan ba yung pinapagawa rito? Uh, hindi naman sinabi kung ilan. Just write an informative speech. So you can write uh, the minimum, a minimum of just five sentences. Five or more. All right. That should be enough. Okay, let us proceed now to activity 2.4. Okay. Identify the following examples according to the text types. Write I for informative, P for persuasive, E for entertainment, and D for demonstrative. You are going to use separate sheet of paper for your answer. For number one, 
college professor lecturing on a specific topic during class. Okay, what type of uh, text is this? Number one is, this is informative. Of college professor lecturing on a specific topic during a class. This is under informative because of the word lecturing. Number two, a lawyer giving a closing argument in court, arguing about whether the defendant is innocent or guilty of the crime. Uh, this is under persuasive because of the word uh, arguing whether the defendant is innocent or guilty of the crime. So this is under persuasive. Because he is uh, trying to persuade whether the uh, defendant is innocent or guilty. Number three, so the answer for number two is letter P, under persuasive. Number three, chefs, chefs describing how to prepare a recipe. All right, so number three, this is under demonstrative because uh, it is describing how to the keyword is how to so it is under demonstrative letter d and number four speeches given by maids of honor or best men at weddings uh, yung mga speech mga uh, maid of honor or best men sa mga kasalan this is usually they are describing the beauty of the bride and groom. So this is under D, demonstrative. All right, let's, uh, let's now proceed to activity 2.5. Below is an excerpt of speech entitled Dreams Do Come True, delivered by Senator, Senator Manny Pacquiao at Oxford University. Now, you are going to create five... Uh, you are going to write five sentences from the speech below that show how the speaker persuades his or her audience. Now, you are going to write five sentences based from this speech and uh, try to make it persuasive. Dapat nagpukumbinsi yung sentence na ginagawa nyo. <clears throat> okay. I am going to read this uh, speech and try to notice how I vary my voice in this speech. It is a matter of record that I only had traditional formal schooling until secondary school grade 12. It was only recently that I reached university level through the alternative education program. We were dirt poor. I had to work since the age of five to help my mother feed my three siblings and me. Many days, I was lucky to have one full meal. On days when we had no food, I would drink lots of water just to fill my stomach. But my mind and spirit were never hungry. I read anything I could get my hands on. I even read a newspaper that my lunch or dinner came wrapped in. I read signs everywhere, even on moving vehicles. I learned measurements and weights by constantly reading the rates and tariffs at the warehouses where I work as a stevedore, a docker in your parlance. And for me, the morning did come, warm, bright, and simply amazing. A lesson on what can be achieved if you have determination. If you ignore the odds against you, as you are taught here at this magnificent institution never ever quit think of David and Goliath look at me I am not big and I never had five smooth stones to throw at any obstacle but determination is a power tool I won a lot of fights speech delivered by Emmanuel D. Pacquiao now the instruction here is you are going to eight at least five sentences now, be ready with your notes. I'm going to give you at least 
three sentences. Okay, first one, never ever quit. Number two, determination is a power tool. Again, determination is a power tool. Number three, ignore the odds against you. Ignore the odds against you. Okay. And uh, let us add two more sentences. I am not big. I am not big. But I have determination. Okay. I am not big, but okay, this one, but I have determination. And in the last one, you can achieve anything. Again, you can achieve anything if you have determination. Again, you can achieve anything if you have determination. Alright, I hope you have learned something in this video. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the notification bell in order to be updated with my next video. Thank you very much for watching. See you again.